Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Sunday morning of Kids Church. Well, today is Mother's Day. I hope you are doing something special for your moms today. Your moms do a lot for you. They love you so much and they deserve our respect and for us to appreciate them every day, but especially today on Mother's Day. So I hope you have something really awesome planned for your mom today. Okay, we're gonna jump into our memory verse um, that we started last week, and we're gonna add on one piece of armor at the end. So last time we finished with the belt of truth, we're gonna move on to one more. So let's say that together. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Put on the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. And we'll stop there for today. So we are going to head now to our um, lesson video. This is our last lesson in our shape series. So we are going to go to the letter E, which stands for experiences today. So check out this video and I will see you in a minute. The E in shape stands for your experiences. You know the feeling of walking in a brand new pair of sneakers? Before you put them on, they look so bright and fresh. They smell good. Well, at least they don't smell like an old wet sock. Then you put them on, lace them up, buckle them up, whatever. You stand up and take your first step. What happens? Your step is a little off. Your feet ache because they feel like they're in straight jackets. What is going on here? The new shoes are too new. They aren't broken in yet. Our own lives start out like a new pair of shoes. We are new and fresh and smell wonderful. <laughs> At least when we're in a clean diaper, that is but we are completely unprepared for life. We haven't yet been trained for the trials ahead. And that is the very reason God allows us to test life and learn from the good times and the hard times. Those trials and bumps and joys and pains are the experiences that help to shape us and make us who we are. God is more interested in our character than he is in our comfort. He has his eye on the person we are becoming. What's even more amazing is that our experiences can be used to pass wisdom on to others. Have you or someone you love ever experienced a long and difficult illness? If you have, that the knowledge you gain from that experience can be helpful to someone else who is just beginning that difficult journey. Do you have siblings? Let me clarify. Do you have brothers or sisters who bug you, tease you, <laughs> pick on you, torment you, break your toys? Well, guess what? Your experience with learning to patiently love them through those challenging times has prepared you to help someone else deal with a difficult relationship in their own life. Your experiences are the events in your life, moments that have helped to teach you and shape you into the person that God wants you to be. Think about what you've encountered in your life. Pray for guidance from God on how to use those experiences to honor Him and to love others. Hi guys, welcome back to Ask Pastor Steve where you ask the questions and I give the answers. I have your questions right here, so let's take a look and see what's on your mind today. Here we go. What did you like to do when you were a kid? Oh, when I was a kid, I used to I used to watch 
uh, TV shows, and then I would go outside and pretend that I was the main character. I loved doing that. I still do that sometimes, but don't tell anybody. Question number two. Do you get to travel often? Yeah, I get to travel some. I love going around the world, especially to our other campuses, Buenos Aires and Hong Kong and Manila and Berlin. I love being with those guys. Question number three. Next question comes from Alyssa. When did you become a Christian? Alyssa, I became a Christian when I was about seven years old. That's when I prayed and asked Jesus to be the boss of my life. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for what we call the lightning round. The lightning round. Here we go. Josh B wants to know, when did you decide to get baptized? When I was seven years old. Was your father a pastor? Yes, Summer, he was. Have you ever broken a bone? Yep, I've broken a collarbone, a finger or two, just your basic stuff. How many baptisms have you done? <whistles> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. A lot. Have you ever met someone popular? Mmm, I met Rick Warren. Do you get paid for what you do? <laughs> Yes, Joshua, I'm very fortunate. I do get paid for what I do. Do you have a brother? Nope. Sorry, Drew. I actually have four sisters. Christiana wants to know, did you work for any other church before coming to Saddleback? Yep, I sure did. We used to work at a church in Chicago, Illinois. Have you ever kissed a turtle? If God loves all of us so much, why does he allow bad things to happen to us? Wow, Ashley. That's a really good question. And you know, that question ties right into what I want you guys to understand today. God doesn't make bad things happen in your life, but bad things do happen to all of us because we live in a broken world. We live in a world full of sin. And because of that, there will be some tough times. But those tough times that we go through, no matter what it is, God's always there with us. We've been talking about our shape. S-H-A-P-E. Say it with me, shape. The S, spiritual gifts. The H is your heart, the things you're passionate about. The A, your abilities. The P is your unique personality. And lastly, we have the E, which is your experiences. All of us have both good and bad experiences in our life, but those experiences happen for a reason. And we can use those experiences to be a blessing to other people. You see, it says in Romans 8, 28, all that happens to us is working for our good if we love God. All those experiences that we have in our life, guys, whether they're good experiences or bad experiences, God uses those to teach us things. God uses those to build character in our life so that we can help other people who go through something similar. It's all a part of how God shapes us. Yeah, it's unfortunate that bad things do happen. And I don't have an answer for why they happen. I just know that we live in a messed up world and there is sin and there are bad things around us. And I don't know why we have to experience the hurts that we do. Some of you guys have felt the pain of divorce in your family. Some of you have seen a loved one pass away. Some of you have been picked on before, you've been bullied. Some of you have felt alone. We all have experiences, both bad and good. There was a question asked, did I work at a church before Saddleback? And the answer was yes, I did. When I moved from our church in Chicago, I knew how to work with my kids when they had to change schools and meet new friends because I had to do that when I was a kid. My dad was a pastor. I had to meet new people and started a new school, but those experiences helped to shape me. So when God said it's time to go to Saddleback and we moved from Chicago, I was able to help my sons. God has something special for you to do. And all of these things, your spiritual gifts, your heart, your abilities, your personality, and your experiences all contribute to you being the very special and unique you that God wants you to be. But don't fall into comparing yourself to somebody else. Don't be afraid to be the person that God's created you to be. Don't get caught up in comparing yourself to somebody else and wishing that you had their life. You be the person God created you to be. And if you are, if you will do that, you'll experience joy and God will be able to use you to do that very special thing he's put you here on earth to do. Guys, I love you. Look forward to seeing you again. Take care. For thousands of years, people have looked up to the stars and wondered what's beyond. Thoughts of distant galaxies, strange planets, and possibly even life unlike any we've known on Earth. 
But no one could have ever imagined in the deep expanse of our universe lives one furry creature with four legs and a jetpack. Bah. His name is Space Goat, and he's here to help you. And he's here to help us. Here to help us answer life's toughest questions. What does the E in shape stand for? Extraterrestrial? Experiences? Or everything? That's correct. The E in shape stands for experiences. Well done, cadets. What is an experience? I like turtles. I broke my arm. Or I can skateboard blindfolded. Yes, indeed. I broke my arm is an experience. Good job, cadets. Which experiences can God use? Good experiences? Bad experiences? Or all of the above? Great job, cadets. All of the above is correct. God can use all experiences. Until next time, stay spacey, cadets. Counter, go and throttle up. Welcome back, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that last lesson in our series, talking to you about another part of who God made us to be, which is the experiences that we live in life. And the main thing we want to take away from this today is that all the different things that happen in our lives, including the things that are hard, so trials, sadness, also joy, fun, happiness, all of that stuff makes up the experiences in our life and that adds to who we are. But the other really cool thing about experiences is how God teaches us stuff. And then when we learn that stuff, we're supposed to go and help other people with it. So for example, if you have dealt with, um, say the death of a pet, for example, you've got a dog or a cat or a hamster or some other pet, and that pet has died. And you know how you felt when that pet died. And um, then you know what also helped you to um, grieve and recover from that and to move on from that. Then you come across a friend that's dealing with a sick pet and their pet dies. You're able to use that experience that you had, even though it was a, a hard experience, you can now come along that side, that friend, and you can um, understand how they feel, number one, which is really important. Number two, you can um, have a lot of compassion on for them and you can also help them work through how to deal with the loss of that pet. So that's just one example. There's lots of other things that go on in our lives that we can then use to help other people. And that's just a cool thing about why God wants us to live in community too. And not just to stay um, off with our own, just our own mom and dad and siblings. He wants us to be out in community, sharing things with each other, helping each other, loving on each other. So I think that's a really cool way to end off this series. And I just encourage you to use the experiences you have in life um, to help others and then also, if you're having a hard time with something, I'm going to be praying in that people will, will come into your life that have had similar experiences that, that can come and help and encourage you too, right? So let's pray over that today. So Jesus, we thank you for this series where we've learned so much about who we are in you and 
what you put into us. And today I pray, Father, that you would help us um, to use the experiences, good and bad, that we've gone through in our life um, to glorify you and to help other people. I pray too, if anyone is going through an experience right now that's a really hard one, um, whether mom and dad have just separated or a pet has died or a grandparent is sick or whatever else is going on in the lives of people watching right now, Holy Spirit, I pray that you would come alongside them, that you would comfort them, that you would heal them, that you would give them wisdom um, as to how to act and what to say, or if they're grieving in some way, Lord, that you would help them work through that, Jesus, and that they would just know that you are close and you are their comforter. So we thank you, Lord, that you know us best. You made us exactly how you want us to be and that you are walking with us side by side through our lives. So we thank you for that, Jesus, and I pray, Holy Spirit, that your presence would just come upon um, each and every child and adult watching right now, that they would sense your presence, know that you are near, and that they would choose to draw close to you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. Have a great week. I will see you next Sunday.